Hi there, it is go time. I have to unpot my two divisions of the Alisiara Peggy Ruth Carpenter and my two divisions of the Dendrobium Berry Oda. Alisiara Peggy Ruth Carpenter was divided and cleaned up at the end of June and the Berry Oda was split and divided at the beginning of July 2021. I'm now in September 2021. I appreciate that you're here. You might hear quite a lot of background noise I hope I can filter that out, and if not, I appreciate the fact that you still watch this video, and I hope that it is entertaining, if not a revelation, because we are going to see what is inside the pots of these divisions after a few months of care, getting them rooted in, and I am anticipating to do some root cleanup because I left dead roots in for anchoring. Let's have a look-see what is in these pots after this time because these orchids are ready to go to their new owners. So at the beginning, when they were potted up, I flushed every second, every third day to get the roots going, to get everything aerated in the pot, keep the oxygen flow going. I kept flushing and flushing, no fertilizer, until such a time I felt it was a feeling that I could start to fertilize. And then I did so conservatively with 100 parts per million because I didn't want the new roots to be affected by too radical handling and too radical treatment. And still the orchids did well and they are in spike. At least the Bellaras are. Now I just wanna be careful with the root that's attached there to the microfiber. So we're going to do a little bit of surgery around it to get that one little thread off, release it from the microfiber. There we go, that's one down. Now prior to shipping, they need to dry out. They have been soaked with calcium, magnesium and seaweed to give them some sustenance and strength for their journey. Here, if I'm going to go and do anything, that is the question. Oh, look, even an older bulb grew a root. How cool is that? Right, the leka stays on where it's stuck to, and I can take care a little bit of this side, but I will do that all together with once I've unpotted all of them. So let's go on to the next pot. Let's see what we got in here. All right, first of all, let's, un <laughs> let's undo the tie, otherwise we'll be fighting each other here. That's not a good thing. Let's get you out. Uh, there's another one stuck to the microfiber down there. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing in the pot though. I'm liking it a lot. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I've also done, woo, tag, won't do what come out, won't come out. <laughs> I've also done a comprehensive cleanup of the leaves, pest treatment with my garlic alcohol, that's all been dealt with. Do I need to have a knife for this root? Or can I just do that with my nail? Yeah, that's fine. I have a feeling that these are pot bound. Let's have a look see. <laughs> Isn't that a pleasure? Isn't that a pleasure? I love it. Right. I'm going to need my knife for this. I'll be back. I knew that they were doing well because of what they were showing me on the surface, but this is wonderful. This is wonderful considering what these pieces had been through. The division took quite some time. And when you think that they've just been soaking in CalMag and they're still attached, pretty much already somewhat dried out, even though they've only been outside a couple of hours. <laughs> Thirsty orchids. Dendrobium berryoda, thirsty, thirsty orchids. Okay, there's not much that needs to be done here. I'm very much liking the look of this. 
So it's going to make somebody very, very happy. And the last berry odor, let's have a look, see. Anything looks to be attached up here? Nope. Even though roots were grabbing onto the tag. Got another new growth coming. That's pretty cool. And there's lots of roots in this pot as well. Fabulous. All right, enter knife. <laughs> this is amazing. Lots and lots of flushing to establish a new root system, new pot. The first two, three weeks are paramount. Keep flushing away with plain water. Depending on what you have to work with in the pot, add some fertilizer or just leave it. The roots will grow much better if they're just left alone and no, there's no risk of burning. Uh, one collateral damage, two collateral damage in there. What a shame. But I think we have plenty, plenty to send off. This is good. This is very, very good. I'm liking this a lot. So the reason I'm just giving them a nice tidy, well, there's two actually. It's nice to get an orchid that has been somewhat cleaned up. Normally I would let the future owner decide for themselves if they want the roots as anchoring or not. But because there is quite some substantial mass in here, I need them to dry out as I need to pack them up. And that is why I'm gonna help out a little bit by removing all this dead material so that it dries out a lot quicker and I can get them into their boxes. So that is the only reason at this point I am removing the dead roots. I always prefer the new owner to make the decision for themselves. There are so many different preferences, but I need these to dry out. So a little bit of a cleanup and a tidy will help with that. Quick interlude, look, more roots are coming, so we'll just remove that sheath as well. Give it a good start, which is awesome for the new owner as well. Still more roots to come. A beautiful sight. This is what I call a gorgeous spread. I'm very, very happy to be able to pack these up, ship these off, and I hope the new owners get as much joy out of them as they gave me while they were still on the mother plant. Lots of flashing in the first two or three weeks. Get the oxygen flow going straight through the pot constantly, and then eventually 100 parts per million of fertilizer, the occasional dose of seaweed, everything at 6.3 pH, and in a couple of months, result. <laughs> really appreciate that you watched this video. I hope it was useful. Maybe the new owners have already received their divisions. I don't know. This is all a question of proper timing. We'll have to wait and see. I appreciate your time. Thank you so very, very much. And I wish you a beautiful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.